CNET's Best Gifts for Dads and Grads is sponsored by Daily Steals, where the daily deals are so hot, they're practically steals. Whatever you choose to do with your life, wherever your passion takes you, I urge you to take the power you have been given and use it for good. Aspire to le leave this world better than you found it. It's that odd time of year, folks, when Tim Cook looks like the Pope and grads are graduating from school and they want cool tech and dad wants a little respect and not a new leaf blower. You got a lot of things going on. You answer all of these by giving great tech gifts, which can make you nervous because tech moves so fast. What's the right thing at the right price? Well, you found the place where you're going to get the answers. This is the hour where we tell you exactly how to find the right stuff at the right price for the right people. I'm Brian Cooley coming to you live from CNET's headquarters in San Francisco, joined by my great co-host to my left is CNET's Lexi Savitas. Hi. And farther to my left is a guy you don't see on our set that often. You see him in cyberspace. Here it's the cheapest guy I know. <laughs> CNET's cheapskate. I mean that in all love. I'm complimented by that. <laughs> CNET's That's cheapskate true. Rick Broida. And this is our Dads and Grads gift guide live show. So for the next hour, we'll be revealing our best picks in eight categories, including phones, laptops, TVs, smart home, and even car and car accessories. And Rick here is going to be giving us some of the best deals there are. Yes, I'm so excited. Thank you for having me here. This is how it's going to work during the show. Throughout, we will be sharing deals on all kinds of cool stuff. When the show's over, you can refresh uh, the page of viewing now to see all the links and promo codes that you need, or you can go to uh, cnet.com slash cheapskate and find them there. We are also going to be giving an iPhone 8. That's it's a uh, the product Ooh. red Ooh. version, so it's really super sexy. And it comes <laughs> with three months of service thanks to US Mobile. And you can enter that giveaway at cnet.com slash giveaway. That one's live until June 17th. It's great. Lots of time to enter that, too. And we also want your questions. So if you want to give us a tweet with the hashtag CNET Live, we will answer as many as we can. Maybe you have a car question for Brian. Maybe you have a deals question for Rick and also we will be randomly selecting three lucky people at the end of the show to receive something special a bit of a surprise shall we say for various legal reasons we can't tell you what it is <laughs> so you gotta hope it's not crap but I can assure you it's not in fact it might be something on this table so watch the show carefully as the next hour unfolds and you may be spotting what you might win in that little giveaway okay let's get to our actual picks now in a really important category this is gifts under hundred dollars this is a real sweet spot because you can can give someone a great gift without going broke. And one of the places where you gotta start is a great Bluetooth speaker. Here's a blue Bluetooth speaker. We like this one because it sounds great, first of all, as you can probably tell. This is the JBL Flip 4. It's a little hard to see, but at the end here are these little piston subwoofers that give it a little bit of physical drama when there's bass coming out of this guy. You see these go back and forth. So it's got some visual pop. Uh, and most importantly, for summer, it's waterproof. Let's prove it right now. It's playing. This is not some fake piece of audio, and I'm going to dunk it in the fishbowl. As you can tell, we haven't done this before, so let's see if it actually works. Happen? In we go. Oh, I okay. can feel it. I can feel the bass. Feel Probably the bass a little hard for you to hear uh, from our microphones. <laughs> but I can feel it. I can feel it on the, the table. table. Oh, yeah. Feel that. Wow, a thundering wow. bass through the fishbowl. So <laughs> nice work by JBL. That is a waterproof, thumping <laughs> little speaker. Now, Rick, you've got one that is a little different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to go for a oh, swim. <laughs> Rick brought his whiskey. Yeah, okay, well, great. I'm nervous. So right. uh, <laughs> if you need a speaker that, that doesn't go swimming with you, uh, I have another great option here. It's actually a even a little bit less money than that one. And I just want to show you the box first because it looks like it's already ready yeah. to gift. It, it doesn't, like even, wow. doesn't even need wrapping. Uh, so this is the Owly Scroll, which oh. comes from the good folks, our good friends at Daily Steels. And uh, it is a as you can probably guess by now, kind of a tube-shaped speaker. And it's stuck in the box because, because it's live. And <laughs> there we go. go. <laughs> and as you can see, it's beautifully wrapped in leather. So it looks really luxe and it'd be nice to put on your desk or on your table or whatever. And you just kind of peel it back that oh, way. Okay. And it just sort of rests that way. So it's really kind of stylish looking. And this kind of says dad to me. This is a nice yeah. dad gift. Yeah. Very yeah. refined. But the thing is, though, is that a smart speaker? Uh, this, not, this is not a smart. It's a smart buy. Ah. Uh, what is the price? Yeah, what so, is the price? 
see how normally, we did that. <laughs> normally, this is 100 bucks. Uh, we have it exclusively for, oh, and it's on. And it's on. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, for $65.99 uh, okay. with promo code CHEAPDAD. And you'll find all the promo codes uh, on the product page, on the giveaway page, and at CNET.com slash CHEAPSKATE. Excellent. Now, speaking of all things smart, one of the picks under $100, under $50 even, is the Google Home Mini. Now, this does pretty much everything that your regular Google Home does in a much smaller form factor. The only thing that you're really missing out on is that 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input, um, but you can pair to another speaker via Bluetooth. So, check the weather, ask for directions, all of that stuff, plus some of the new features that Google is constantly rolling out, including one of the fun ones, which is Google Routines. You can essentially set a command to say, hey Google, good morning, and it will start a chain of things like setting off maybe a coffee maker on your smart plug or checking the weather, then getting your, the ETA to work, all sorts of things like that. It is $39 now, but Google fluctuates with the price so much. It can be even cheaper, um, but it's usually about $39 to $40. So it's a great pick for under 50 for yeah, a smart speaker. That is so hot because it's the least expensive way to get someone into smart speaker behavior, mm -hmm. which is still foreign to a lot of people. You know, a lot of people do not use one of these yet. They may know about it, but not use it. And the price is great, and it's tied into Google. It's not like it's some, you know, fringe thing. This is the one that's been giving Amazon and Apple fits because it's just such a great device well, at speaking, a great price. Exactly. And speaking of um, Amazon, if you want to get into the Alexa ecosystem, then maybe the Amazon Fire HD 8 is the tablet for you. Now, this one is actually on special now. Amazon's doing a bit of a deal for Father's Day. It's $80. You're, uh, sorry, $60 actually it's a regular $80 uh, and so that's $20 off you've got an 8 inch screen you've got some great Dolby Atmos sound there um, plus you have obviously if you're an Amazon Prime subscriber you have all of the benefits of all of those TVs movies and so on and the big thing that a lot of people forget about tablets is that once you've got a tablet you're not usually upgrading that often the good thing about this one is that it has micro SD storage so it's expandable so you're not just stuck with the baseline storage uh, that you buy it for. You can add a micro SD card in and add all the media that you want essentially. Yeah, totally vital to have upgradable storage in a tablet because it's not something you're going to upgrade very often. These things are great because they last forever. They're not like your phone where you always replace it every year or two. You're going to have yours for years, I'm guessing, so mm -hmm. make sure you can upgrade it. Okay, folks, next up, whereas we're getting rolling here, laptops and phones, we're getting right into the sweet spot of what everybody wants. Headphones go in that category as well. But first, we're going to mix things up a little bit and give you a little retro sneak peek back at how Father's Day looked in 1978. Check this out. Sunday is Father's Day, and Jewel's got the perfect way to let Dad know you care. Plan his favorite meal featuring fine foods from Jewel, like meaty, tender beef rump roast. Through Saturday, it's only $1.59 a pound. And don't forget this Dad's Day treat, farm stand watermelon. Through Saturday, it's only 12 cents a pound. Yes, you can make Dad feel like king for a day with special help from Jewel. Okay, we're coming back to CNET's live Dads and Grads Gift Guide and Deals show. Uh, clearly, as we just saw, you always want to go safe and give Dad some KO Pectate as well. Um, now let's talk about some back-to-business stuff here. Laptops, great gifts for high school grads especially. Uh, they're heading off to college where having a computer needs to be a really good machine, high power, very durable, you know, not necessarily a starter laptop or a loner Chromebook anymore. I've got one of CNET's favorites here on the Windows side. Now this is a Lenovo Yoga 920. What we're looking at here is obviously a Ultrabook in its first form. We're you've got a thin and light laptop really good build quality I mean I'm not I'm not kidding you here that hinge is like a door hinge at your house you cannot flex this thing watch it snap in half just because yeah. I'm doing it right durability test right now. right right now this is a torture <laughs> test now because it's a yoga it does different things you can flip it around like yay and now you've got this tablet form factor so this is uh, you know it's a little bit of a horsey tablet because it's got two panels but this is nice on a plane when you've got one of those crappy economy seats and no room to open your machine conventionally or the other yoga trick is this you go into what's called tent or card mode and this is going to give you the ability to set up basically an easel which can also soothe some different sorts of media consumption creative use or screen sharing uh, modes this is a great machine around 1300 bucks depending on configuration and the latest model uh, has a pen for input as well now if you're on the window if you're on the Mac side 
Of course, the Apple MacBook, the straight-ahead MacBook, is just a sweet spot among their machines. Uh, this is one that is a 12-inch screen, but they push the monitor out so much, it really takes over the entire lid. It's got this dramatic look. Uh, it has this rather controversial, still, one USB-C port is its only connectivity aside from power, and you're going to have to uh, get a breakout device, I think, which could be a nice gift to include with it. But this is such an incredibly well-built, super light, high-performance machine. doesn't have the very latest Intel processors, but it's got enough. And man, people look at that and just say, this is the coolest gift I've ever received. So that's a real sweetheart right there. If you want to go the other way, not super thin and light, uh, <laughs> let's take a thing. look at uh, this new guy from HP. This is the uh, NV17T Touch, and as you can see, it is a full-on desktop a replacement. It, is, it replaced me <laughs> at this desktop. Uh, it's got Bang & Olufsen speakers, it's got an optical drive, it's got, so it's got a terabyte SSD inside it. That's how much horsepower. That's a lot of SSD. That's a lot of <laughs> SSD, that's yeah. right. And so we are actually running a, a, an exclusive with HP. Uh, just for CNET uh, users, you can get 25% off any uh, HP Envy, uh, any um, uh, Pavilion, uh, a bunch of different SKUs uh, from HP, 25% uh, off anything that's priced $1,200 or above. So you have a lot of options there. Uh, so nice. go check out the latest HP. Okay. <laughs> and, get that yeah. and, the code, well. and the code for that one was CNET18PC. So if you want to go check C that one out. Actually, it is CNET PC 18. We got a little wrong. There you there go. Okay. Rick's the man with One the deal. He knows I promise. the codes. He knows the codes. <laughs> Try them both. <laughs> Maybe you'll get them both to work and get 50% off. You never know. Double code. I yeah, like try. it. I try. like it. Okay. Now I'm going to switch gears and talk about phones. Yeah. Dads need them. Grads practically live on them. So if you want the flagship phone right now, you have a couple of choices Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Obviously, the top of the line Samsung right now, while charging uh, beautiful screens there too and the big feature on the S9 and the S9 Plus is uh, that variable aperture camera so if you're into photography or even if you're not into photography uh, that lens is actually going to change the aperture um, between two settings it's kind of like the iris in your eye it closes down and opens up depending on the light and you don't need to know anything about photography to understand that it's going to just give you some much better photos in low light um, but if you are a photographer you've got some nice manual control there in the default app too. So that's the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Um, also, if you have a spare thousand dollars lying around, because Plus. I know what we all do, the iPhone 10 obviously is the flagship Apple device. Um, same sort of things as the S9 and S9 Plus, wireless charging of course, that beautiful screen, uh, the dual cameras, you get all of the sorts of effects like portrait mode and so on, and face ID and face unlock with that biometric face screen thanks to that front-facing camera and of course the notch I know that that's uh, somewhat contentious among some people I don't really mind at all the notch is it is what it is alternatively if that is too much money for you and you still want a flagship phone with the same sorts of performances you're getting out of the s9 and the iPhone 10, uh, the OnePlus 6 is also a great buy. This is, uh, you know, around the $530 mark. Uh, very similar kind of feature sets there. We have, you know, the dual cameras, the fingerprint sensor, um, the beautiful edge-to-edge -edge screen, of course, the notch too. Uh, there is facial unlock too. It is not quite the same level as it is on the iPhone, um, but it's still there for the biometric enthusiasts out there. And it's a, it's a much better deal if you're looking for all of that kind of performance in a flagship handset without the big ticket item price. So speaking of all this, we've got the premium Apple phone, the premium Samsung phone, and the premium Challenger phone. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick, deals on phones scare people because they think they have to go through an activation and a carrier contract. That's the old holdover logic, at least in the American market. How do you get a deal on a phone for someone? Yeah, so I hate to say it, these are not cheapskate approved <laughs> phones. Not <laughs> one of them, you know? Uh, but it is actually possible now to get a, a really solid phone for, for a lot less. Uh, in fact, I would advise people to look kind of at the latest models from Motorola, like their new uh, G6, which I think comes in at, uh, at around 300 or maybe even less. Uh, Amazon carries it and they often run deals on it. Um, that is a fairly powerful phone and you buy it unlocked, it works, it's carrier yeah. agnostic mm -hmm. so it can work with, with just about any carrier. And for literally a third of the price of what you might pay for the latest from Samsung or from Apple, you can get a really sweet phone. So don't be afraid. Be 
So the two things for someone to know about gifting a phone is unlocked, unlocked whether you sure. understand it or not, you want it to be unlocked, and secondly, you want it to have these two networks it supports, GSM and CDMA. You okay. just have to remember those, mm -hmm. those three acronyms, unlocked, GSM, CDMA. If you do that, like the phone that Rick's talking about that does all those things, there's not going to be a problem for whoever you're gifting it to, whether they want to get new service for it or use it on their current plan, it's going to work, and that's the key. Uh, it's not as hard as it, as it basically looks. And if you do need a phone, we also have the giveaway as well. Yes, yes we do. Let's talk again about the iPhone 8, uh, which we are giving away courtesy of US Mobile. It comes with uh, three months of uh, free service, and you can enter that giveaway at uh, cnet.com slash giveaway. And that is running through June the 17th. Excellent. Well, let's check in on the questions on CNET Live, the hashtag on Twitter. We have a lot of questions. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts here. So first one from Richard. What is the best sounding sub $50 Bluetooth speaker? It's a mm. tough one. Sub 50. Sub 50. Okay. All right. So this is my category, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you can, Richard, if you can scrape together uh, another 16 bucks or so, the Owly speaker that I mentioned just a little while ago at $65.99 is actually a really great choice. But if that's a little too high, uh, I would say check out the uh, Cheapskate blog, uh, which I write daily at cnet.com slash cheapskate. I share Bluetooth deals there, Bluetooth speaker deals there routinely. Some would say too much. <laughs> and uh, you'll find lots of great options uh, for $50 and less, sometimes a lot less. And that really wet JBL Flip 4 we showed a few minutes ago, that's, that's going to be a little bit further out of the price range at $80. But frankly, that is at the lower end as well, along with all of our top rated Bluetooth speakers. You can always find those on CNET because that's how CNET's always laid out. You've always find a list of best products in any category that we've got. And our best Bluetooth speakers for 2018 is no exception. You can find a lot of price ranges there as well. So let's grab another question. Yeah. This is from Chidambaram. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly. Any deals or gift ideas for a non-tech friendly dad living overseas? So something like perhaps a digital photo frame, uh, something like that, so you could mm. deliver photos via Dropbox or a service like that. The last time I, I mentioned a digital door frame, <laughs> it was probably two thousand and two. I got made so much fun of that I'm just not gonna not gonna go there. I know. Uh, actually, you know, we have something coming up here very shortly that I think would make a great overseas gift for a dad. So um, if we want to stay tuned, we can get to that. And uh, also be, uh, beware of things that stream because you've got a lot of different mm. international roadblocks in terms of content rights on any of the th streaming media devices, uh, music or video, to be honest, but especially video, may not work if you were to ship it to them, especially if it's a gray market export. You're shipping a U.S. product to someone. So it'll work. It uses the same kind of power. It may not have the rights to pull the video. Absolutely. And so, Paul, a uh, simple question, Amazon Fire Stick or Roku Stick? Roku. We, we, <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, but sorry, we, we are, no, that's the question, but we are going to be talking about all things. TV, streaming, and so on yeah. coming up, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. And uh, we also have a question for a best deal on dash cams, but I know that again, that we'll answer later. Stay tuned yeah. because, for sure. yeah. Okay, all right, so that's one of the smart picks we've got coming up. Dash cams are so hot, sit tight for those and many other things. Uh, great favorite dads and grads gifts oh, will also be including headphones coming up in our next section. Uh, you can spend a little or you can spend a lot. I know what, Rick, direct, what direction Rick wants to go. <laughs> I go the other way, so we're going to see who's going to win that tug of war. In the meantime, here's Oprah speaking to J School graduates at USC a few weeks ago. You will become the new editorial gatekeepers, an ambitious army of truth seekers who will arm yourselves with the intelligence, with the insight, and the facts necessary to strike down deceit. To so take everything you've learned here and use what you've learned to challenge the left, to challenge the right, and the center. When you see something, you say something, and you say it with the facts and the reporting to back it up. We came to three, John. Okay. All right, folks, lots of commencement speeches going on this time of year. We're peppering those around just to keep things in the feel and the flavor of what's going on, as well as what's going on with grads as well. We have a few more inspirational clips coming up. But first, we're talking headphones. These inspire a lot of people as well because they sound great and they're really part of your look these days, right? Headphones are a great go-to gift. There's almost no one who's not going to use these. Whatever you've got is going to want to put out its audio through headphones. So, Lexi, we've got some picks. Start us off. Lots of picks. Okay, so for the Apple user in your life, obviously, 
obvious choice is the uh, Apple AirPods. So if you do have an Apple device, they pair incredibly quickly. Thanks to that W1 chip, all you need to do is essentially just bring it close to your device and it will just bring up a prompt and you pair it like so. The core quality is pretty good if you are using it kind of for that primary purpose as a Bluetooth headset. And you can control with just a simple double tap. And also if you're listening on something like Apple Music, unfortunately, Apple products seem to get the preference when it comes to Apple products, who would have thought? If you are using Apple Music, you can pull one earpod out and uh, then essentially it will just pause the music, put it back in and the AirPod starts to play again. And, uh, and the wireless charging case that has been long thought of and rumored should hopefully be coming soon alongside with the uh, Apple Air Power charging pad. So this will charge your phone, the AirPods and also the Apple Watch. Uh, that's coming soon. But if you do have Apple devices and these are the way to go, um, but they don't fit necessarily very well in some people's ears. And for me, I have strange, you know, strange shaped ears and they don't seem to fit that well. So definitely do try before you buy. If you do have that problem, the other alternative is the Bose Sound Sport Free. Now this is the completely wireless uh, option to the Bose Sound Sport Wireless. They are those corded sports headphones. They sit really nicely in your ear and you also do have the option of getting different sized wing tips so you can adjust it exactly. Now these do close in the sound a little bit more so it's a little bit more enclosed uh, and so you get deeper bass generally although sound is very subjective um, I prefer the sound of the Bose to the AirPods and they just give you that little bit more secure of a fit especially if you're being active running around they are water resistant the case is a little bit larger but the downside is they do stick out of your ears a little bit more so if you don't want to be running around with uh, something very big in your ear then maybe maybe not the ones for you maybe try the AirPods um, but if you do want to go for an over-the-ear headphone and you're looking for noise cancelling, as I know many people are, then you really have two options. You have the Sony's or the Bose Quiet Comforts. <laughs> and uh, this is kind of, a, kind of a tough call to make. I really like the Sony's with the WH. 1000 XM2, it's kind of a bit of a mouthful of a name to say. Um, excellent sound and isolation, noise cancelling. Um, they have really good battery life. Um, to some ears, uh, I guess it can sound better than the Bose. Our headphone guru, David Carnoy, actually prefers the sound of the Sonys to the Bose. But the really cool thing about these Sonys is that they have a feature. You know, if you're on a plane, you know, you do a lot of traveling, Brian, and a flight attendant comes up to you and asks if you want a drink or whatever it might be, and you do that awkward lip reading game. Oh, yeah. You're like, I don't want to take the headphone and off. And I always give a nonsensical answer, like it's an ad, a Mad Lib happening in real time. Exactly. Popcorn. She goes, no, no, no I was just want to drink. <laughs> exactly. So these Sonys have a cool feature. You can just cup your hand to the right earphone, uh, and then essentially it kind of turns off the noise cancelling, it pauses your music and muffles oh, it, and nice. then you can actually have a bit of a conversation without taking off the headset. <laughs> With your hand up by your ear. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like come Gary in. Uh, come no, in. No, no one knows who exactly. that is. Exactly. Yeah. call, sorry. Yeah. Exactly. So that's pretty useful there for okay. your noise cancelling fans. And I know, like, Dad, my dad in particular, loves noise cancelling huh? headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Lock out the world. It's a great look. Lock yeah. out huh? the world. What? <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, also, I just want to point, I'm going off the off the script here, the Jabra Elite 65Ts have also been very much talked about almost constantly in the same breath with the AirPods lately. They're a great alternative to those. They kind of come in a similar case. They kind of have a similar look. They're about 150 bucks there. Uh, Carnoy loves those as well. This David Carnoy uh, sort of uh, measurement is one of the great ways to know if you've got a great <laughs> headphone or not. Yeah, and so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to geek out uh, here for just a minute. Uh, this is obviously a deal that we're going to be talking about, but I'm not going to give you the deal right now. You're going to have to stick around to find out what that is. But I'm just going to fly it because... Okay, I'm going to duck. This is where I show you the other feature of the yoga. <laughs> it's bulletproof. Defense yeah, shield. Yeah, you want me to hit you the HP? Ready when okay, you are. Okay, are we ready? Right, here we let's go. Let's do this. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> uh, everything. Uh, All right. Oh, steady. Pretty steady. Very nice. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. All right, and my script is gonna go flying. Yeah, nice. Nicely All right, done. let's see if I can bring her down. Bring her down. Perfect. Oh, nice. Well yes. done. All right. Wow. Well Captain done. Boyda. That was totally Whew. live, not pre-recorded. <laughs> totally no. live. Well done. Could have gone so wrong in so many <laughs> oh, ways. My. We're gonna get you a little uh, purchase and deal information on that coming up. So that's a little teaser right there. Okay, next up, dads do it, grads do it. I'm not going there. Gaming. We got all our top picks coming up as well and more discounts from Rick. But first, continuing our celebration of dads, here's an incredible one. That's not the way 
you supposed to do it, Dad? They want us to do it this way. I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Uh, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Hello? Hey, honey. How are the kids? Everything's great. Wow. Is she having adolescence? And Jack Jack? <laughs> She's in excellent health. Oh, what the? Num num cooking. Oh, God. Cooking. Oh, wow. Okay. That is freaky. Okay, folks, it's time to talk gaming and game accessories. Uh, this is a, one of those sort of pan populace hits that is lots of fun. You know, some gifts are a little more utilitarian. This is definitely not utilitarian. We're talking about total fun here. Uh, some of the greatest time wasters in the world that everyone's going to love on this one. Alexi, you're a big gamer. I am a non-gamer, so here's where I <laughs> hand it off to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexi Savitas. All right, so there's lots of different options uh, for gamers out there. I want to talk about a couple of different things at all different price points for all different sorts of gamers. First up is the Xbox One X, Microsoft's flagship console. Uh, it's got the most powerful graphics you can imagine. It does HDR, it does 4K. The thing is though with the Xbox One X, even if you don't have a 4K TV, it's going to be down sampling so you get the best possible image even if you just have a regular 1080p screen. Uh, and also because it's E3 now, there are a lot of different games that have been announced, especially yesterday at Microsoft's press conference. So many more games being announced, exclusives including um, Halo Infinity, sorry, Halo Infinite, Gears of War, um, Cuphead, there's so many more games out there for the console and it's now actually a bit of a discounted price uh, for $450 uh, and so rumors have it that maybe the price will drop even further just because Microsoft did say that there is a new console on the way but in a couple of years time no time frame there anyway if you're not a console gamer maybe you like kind of an all-in-one headset and you like virtual reality you want to get a bit of a taste of it the oculus go now this is uh, facebook's oculus it's their all-in-one headset so previous you know vr headsets like the gear vr you needed the phone to slip in there this is all in one you don't need the phone at all to run this except for as the initial installation and putting any extra apps on like so it's actually pretty comfortable and it's not very heavy if you using it for extended periods of time. You have all of the apps and the games on the Oculus Store. Uh, the field of view is pretty good too and it, it doesn't get too hot. It's got some, some integrated uh, speakers that kind of like give you that all-encompassing sound. It's actually very impressive. I put it on, I thought well, the sound's not going to be very good. It's actually very decent. Huh. You can also plug in headphones too and it comes with uh, a little controller too obviously so you can play all your games or navigate like that. Uh, definitely if you get the chance try the roller coaster in VR demo <laughs> that comes with that. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a lot of, of fun. Of I highly, right. highly recommend. Okay, and if you're a retro gamer and you love your retro games like me, you grew up maybe with your Nintendo consoles, SNES classic, like you can't go past this. Look, look how adorable. adorable this is. <laughs> adorable, everybody. You don't need cartridges anymore. It just comes with all the games built in. Uh, Mario Kart, anyone who wants to take me on, I, I will definitely take you on. I am the queen of Mario Kart, uh, <laughs> self-proclaimed. Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World, a bunch of different games, plus the uh, unreleased Star Fox 2 game. Wow. Uh, it was never actually released. It was teased a lot of the time uh, when the SNES was actually out in the big form uh, back in the 90s, but you can actually play it for real on this. It's still really hard to get your hands on, though, yeah, I have to say. Still hard to find, Still right? hard to find, $80, so when you do see it, pick it up, and uh, you'll just have to just get lucky, hopefully, and, and find it when it does get a release. Although, I do hear that extra shipments are being made at the end of June. Great so gift. Great I gift. owe you yeah, maybe that. so fun. And if you do find one, it's like, wow, where did you find one? That's a nice little <laughs> extra punch for the gift. Absolutely. Yeah. And all things Nintendo as well. You can't go past the Nintendo Switch, obviously. Yeah. Uh, this has kind of really changed the way that we game on the go. It gives you the flexibility of plugging into a TV. But the most exciting thing is that it has the the classic updates to the Nintendo games. If you are a Mario fan, Super Mario Odyssey, if you want to play Zelda, this is the console for you. And you can plug into a TV, plug on the go, play on the go, the controllers switch off, like the name suggests. 
and uh, you can play it all enclosed in one if you so desire. It's just a lot of fun to play and perfect for the Nintendo aficionado in your life. A lot of hits. In Donkey the... Kong? Can I play Donkey Kong in that? The only <laughs> it's, yep, yep, the side-scroller Donkey Kong is yeah. coming. It's basically available now. You can play it. It's a classic right, side-scroller. Uh, Love it. You it all gets so it. simple in the end. <laughs> we need to remind everybody that we are giving away an iPhone 8, the red edition. This is courtesy of US Mobile, our partner, and it comes with three months of service, courtesy of them as well. Now, to enter, you go to CNET.com slash giveaway. The giveaway is live, by the way, until June 17th. It's not going to like cut off at the end of our live show right now. So that's CNET.com slash giveaway. You see it right there. Enter to win a brand new iPhone 8 Red. That is pretty sweet. Right. Let's check the CNET live hashtag. Uh, don't forget, if you do tweet us a question, you uh, may get a surprise. Uh, we will stay tuned for that. <laughs> uh, let's go to some of the questions uh, from David. A low cost equivalent to the AirPods that actually stay on my ears. Uh, you did mention this a, bit, oh, a little yeah. bit earlier, the Jaybirds. That's a good alternative there. Yeah. Um, and they're uh, probably around the same price. $149.99 yeah, so. is a street price off of 170 mm -hmm. list. So that's kind of the price point they're in. This is a, this is a nice pair of earbuds, yeah. uh, but a really strong alternative to AirPods. Absolutely. And uh, we have from Kathy, any drone deals for dad? Uh, <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, Were nudge. Are you not watching just you, moments you ago? You've got to stay tuned. <laughs> you got to stay tuned. And uh, from Jeff, which Roku stick is the best value for money right now? We're going to get into that. Um, you know, the Roku sticks are all pretty good good value. I think it's... Uh, they're all a great value. They're all yeah. pretty good value. Uh, the 49... So what's the $49 one? I always forget the name of that one. But yeah, look it up because they change their names a lot. They they're do. Always they, uh, they always change the names and then they yeah. kind of have the similar functionalities and they're called something similar except with an extra feature on the end of the right. name, like or 4K or a, plus or, a plus or something, something like that. <laughs> uh, um, I think we're looking at the Roku Streaming Stick Plus. That's the one. That's the one. I, I recommend that one's a really good value there. There. That's the that's, that's the one. sweet spot right mm -hmm. now, and let me just pull that up. Yeah, fifty-five dollars street. Um, uh, I think it's seventy dollars list, but you won't need to pay that. And uh, Rick, aren't you proud of me? I just said oh, yeah. you don't need to pay <laughs> that, nice right? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So, that's four K capable if you've got a new four K TV. Absolutely. We'll keep your questions coming on the CNET Live yep. hashtag. Uh, let us know and stay tuned for the surprise. Okay, we got smart home coming up next. This is kind of fun because, uh, especially for a dad gift, because it's something that the whole family can enjoy. So we're going to go to CNET's smart home in Kentucky in Louisville for that but first continuing our salute to 18 grads everywhere here's actor Chadwick Boseman the Black Panther himself back at his alma mater back at Howard here's what he had to say now this is your time <laughs> the light of new realization shines on you today Howard's legacy is not wrapped up in the money that you will make, but the challenges that you choose to confront. As you commence to your past, press on with pride and press on with purpose. God bless you. I love you, Howard. Howard forever. Okay, folks, welcome back to CNET's Dads and Grads live show. We are here giving you the best deals, the best picks and the best deals, because a deal is no good if it's not the right product. We're trying to uh, thread the needle there on what the best things are in each category and give you some great prices as well. I'm Brian Cooley, joined by Lexi Savitas and CNET's deals guru, the cheapskate himself, Rick Broida, here in person. Quite a treat. <laughs> uh, we're hoping to find you the best tech products here. Now, speaking of great deals, we want to thank our sponsor, DailySteals.com, a.k.a. the folks known for the squirrel. Not entirely sure why, but I'm glad they are because the squirrel's really cool. Okay, next up is Smart Home. CNET actually has a smart home here in San Francisco. It's our newest smart home, not our first. We have a smart home in Louisville, Kentucky. We have a smart apartment right downtown. It's actually kitty corner from the Louisville Slugger Museum slash factory. So if you're in Louisville, make sure you check it out there. Uh, and uh, we want to get a take from our smart home team from uh, Rich Brown and Andrew Gebhardt. Here's what they would recommend for you. Yeah, hey everyone, I'm Rich Brown. We're here in the CNET Smart Home in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm here with my colleague, Andrew Gebhardt. Hello. And we've got a whole assortment of appliances and smart home gadgets we think would be good gifts for dads and or grads coming up here. So Andrew, why don't you kick it off? What's this thing sitting next to you? It's an air fryer. So if you like deep fried snacks, but maybe not all of the 
negative health aspects of deep fried snacks. This thing is essentially like a convection oven, but it can sit on your countertop and it's really good for quickly making stuff like mozzarella sticks, pizza rolls. So it'd be a handy thing to have in a college dorm room if you just graduated from high school and uh, your dorm would be pretty popular if you were churning out snacks like that. For dads, it's a good fit for a basement bar and you like this one in particular because it's 70 bucks and it performed just as well as the ones that cost two, 300 bucks. All right, on the other end of the price scale, we have this Breville Precision Coffee Maker. So this is a $300 coffee maker aimed really at the people who are most passionate about coffee out there. Uh, what's great about this one, it has a nice big 12 cup uh, reservoir but also it's super precise in terms of the controls uh, for, the, for the water temperature as well as the timing of the brew. So it can, you can take pretty much any grounds, throw it into this thing, and it will just make some of the best coffee you've ever had all on your countertop. Again, it's 300 bucks, so someone has to really like coffee to want this thing, uh, but this is the one that we like best in terms of high end right now. All right, so on to the smart home products. We have sort of an assortment of devices here. Andrew, what is that thing that's sitting right in front of you there? It's a doorbell. You don't it's say. Specifically, it's the Nest Hello doorbell. So this thing hangs up on your door frame uh, and uh, they would hit this button just like they would on a doorbell and you'd be able to see their face on your phone and you can talk to whoever's at your door without getting up or if you're out and about, you can see who's at the door. The cool thing about this one, so we've seen lots of smart doorbells. The yep. cool thing about this one is that it has facial recognition. So if it's that annoying neighbor again, you will know and your phone can give you that notification. And uh, it'll even send an alert to, if you have a Google Home smart speaker, mm -hmm. it'll send an alert to the Google Home smart speaker. So smart doorbell and it's a good one. Right, and this costs I think just over $200. So it's a little bit of an investment. All right, in front, we've got these two little boxes. These are all basically the same product though. Uh, this is the Chamberlain MyQ garage door opener. So this is the product that is actually the door opener. You install it uh, onto an existing electric opener in your garage and through your phone, you can use it to open and close the garage door remotely. You can also check garage door status, which is kind of handy at the end of the day if you want to make sure you close the garage door. This piece is a little bit extra. This one costs 80, this one costs 70. So this gets the device working with HomeKit, Apple's smart home platform. So with this thing, you can actually use Siri to control your garage door with your voice. This one supports uh, Alexa and Google Assistant out of the box. Uh, with this, you can use Siri. So it's a nice, uh, probably more aimed at a dad than a grad, uh, unless maybe you're living in a garage. I don't know, uh, the grad in investment in garages seems like a good opportunity. Yeah, uh, you know, but uh, it, for a dad, this seems like a great weekend project and also has some handy utility. All right, big guy in the middle, Andrew. This is the Sonos One. It's a smart speaker. So an Amazon Echo is a smart speaker, a Google Home is a smart speaker. This does roughly the same thing. You can give it voice commands and control your smart home gadgets, play music, control your TV. When you're playing music, this one sounds great. It sounds better than the Amazon Echo. It sounds better than the Google Home. And the cool thing about this one is, so the digital assistant in the Echo is named Alexa. Alexa's built in here and the digital assistant in the Google Home is named Google Assistant, and that's coming to this speaker as well. So you're gonna get the best of all the different worlds and a smart speaker that sounds really good, and it's $200. So it's more than the Google Home and it's more than the Amazon Echo, but it's significantly less than the premium smart speakers like the Google Home Max and the Apple HomePod. So a really nice, well-balanced smart speaker and I really like a smart speaker as a way to get started in the smart home because it's fun and it can do a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, so right now this is arguably the smart home speaker to beat. All right, we also like for getting started in the smart home, smart plugs. So this is one of the better examples out there and what's great about this one is it's cheap. It's only about 30 bucks. You can probably even find it for less. So this is TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini. Did you get all that? Uh, did you get all that? It's kind of a <laughs> mouthful. Uh, so basically you plug this into any outlet and then you plug in say a lamp or a desk fan in there, in here and all of a sudden you can control that thing from your phone. Uh, this is nice because it works with Alexa and Google Assistant so you get those voice controls in here and it has a really good app. So if you want to do things like scheduling or getting it to work in conjunction with other smart home products, if you want to say set a scene of uh, a whole bunch of devices to work at once, uh, TP-Link does a pretty good job of making that easy to set up. 
And again, it only costs 30 bucks and it's a, just sort of a, a pretty convenient device to add some basic smarts to your house. All right, so I think that's about all we've got here in the smart home uh, that we think is good for a data grad, and we'll kick it back to you guys. Goodbye. Great, thank you. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Andrew. Great stuff there. That, by the way, is the CNET Smart Home in Louisville. Pretty luxe, right? Uh, an interesting sub-point they were making there about some of these devices. You know, Smart Home's interesting because it requires a lot of devices to really make a home smart. So when you're buying Smart Home devices, especially if they're things that are multiples, like outlets or light bulbs, consider buying like a three-pack. They're typically sold that way by the manufacturer at a much discounted price. And that's nice because otherwise, if you give someone a smart light bulb or a smart outlet, it's like, oh, great, you got, got me a shoe. No, these come in pairs or in threes. It's really nice way. Then they can completely smartify at least one room in many cases, and you got a nice deal because you bought a, a package discount as well. Now, Rick's got some smart deals on Smart Home. I do. In fact, this thing has got dad written all over it, and I know because I'm a dad, and I'm the guy who's in charge of the sprinklers <laughs> at, at my house. And so, like, when it's raining outside and i got to run down in the you know middle of the night to turn the sprinklers off, no, 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 come on. Let's smarten up the, we smarten up the home, let's yep. smarten up the yard. And we're going to do that with the, uh, the Rachio 3, which is a smart sprinkler controller. And uh, as you might expect, it pairs with your phone and you can set it up with all kinds of fancy timing. But it's smart enough to know, based on the local weather forecast, it's raining. And so turn off the sprinklers, don't water. So it's a you know, simple thing, but man, oh man, is that useful. And I'm going to just kind of put this in my bag on the way out. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you of all the products that we have here, I think I have this right. Yeah, of all the products we have on this desk, that's the only one that I have. Ah, that's coolly approved. Right. I had that Coolie exact approved. unit. And okay. CNET editors buy everything with their own money. We don't get any freebies. <laughs> we don't keep review units. It all has to go back. So when we have tech in our houses, we spend our own money to get it. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of that one. It really yeah. works well. It's, it's, it's stable, which is one of the most important things in a smart home. Smart home that doesn't always work right is a nightmare. This is rock solid. Well, and I hate to ruin this for you because uh, the viewers are going to get this for less than what you paid for it. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you're here, so I know that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> so the Rachio 3 is normally uh, 229 but uh, you can get it for $179, 50 yeah, bucks nice. off That's less than I paid. with uh, code <laughs> CNETDAD. Uh, make sure I get that right. CNETDAD50. And uh, there you go. Smarten up your yard. Okay, this guy's a big boy here. Yeah. EcoVax uh, DBot 900. <laughs> yeah, look at that thing. So, uh, first of all, D, first of all, DBot, best name ever for a robot. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it's a smart vacuum cleaner. So, uh, I think that for a grad who is moving maybe into their first home or apartment or whatever and is still a slob, uh, <laughs> give them a vacuum cleaner that will automatically just drive around and uh, suck up all the, all the junk on the floor. It's the best thing. So, this is the thing with me I was very anti robot vacuum cleaners for a very long time and then I inherited one and it changed my life like I did not realize how useful this was going to be yeah. until I actually had it running around because you don't have to worry about vacuuming you just let it go you clean if you live in an apartment or a small space it's an excellent investment if you have a low pile carpet yeah. or if you have just a wooden floor and just need to just get like crumbs and dirt off the floor easily so much better than having to pull out the vacuum and you know throw your back oh, out while doing it vacuuming is a bore i don't care what kind of vacuum Let you have do it if you have one of those battery operated <laughs> cool dyson sticks you still never use it because it's a bore <laughs> to walk around the house and get stuff off the floor robot vacuums are so great because it takes something that you had to do and makes it makes it into something you don't have to do anymore that's the real gift of smart home absolutely it's a time saver uh it's a it's a pain in the butt saver. It's uh, you don't have to vacuum. You got a deal on this? Yes, I do. So Ecovacs actually has a bunch of different models, and this is the, their newest one. Um, okay. So the, the important feature to know about this one is that you can actually program zones so that it won't go into rooms where you don't want it to go. Mm -hmm. So you can set up kind so of. So like, to keep some of your house dirty, you can. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Great. You can create, set up virtual walls basically uh, without any kind of extra gear. So normally this guy is three ninety nine, but uh, it's on sale for three twenty nine uh, through the uh, Wellbots uh, website. And again, we'll have that link and. Okay up on the site so everybody can get that deal. 329 pretty awesome. And that's actually great to have that room exclusion. Uh, all kidding aside, because it's a great way to say don't go into certain rooms that maybe your pets use as their safe zone so they don't get freaked out by this thing because sometimes it will drive your pets nuts when it's there, when it's new in the home mm -hmm. or they'll start riding it because they love it. You never know, right? But this sure way you can tell it. That. Yes, and then you'll be on YouTube <laughs> and get your 10 million hits. Uh, but this is nice to say some rooms you stay out of so the dog or cat can go there and know they're not going to have this thing following them everywhere.
Uh, okay, so uh, there's one more here, the Wise Cam. Yeah, so Wise Cam is kind of like the breakout story uh, of smart home gear um, from late 2017. Uh, their first model uh, was just a little guy. It was just called the Wise Cam, yeah. and it looked like this cute little Pixar thing. Mm -hmm. And um, what was amazing about it, it's a, it's a smart home camera. It's a Wi-Fi camera. It streams video to you on your phone or your tablet. So the new one is the WiseCam Pan. What was remarkable about the previous one is it was 20 bucks. 20 bucks oh, for a really capable, very good uh, uh, smart camera. So this guy is the WiseCam Pan. As you can see, it looks a little more traditional. It's taller and it can actually pivot and it has a smart eye. So you can actually pan around the room. It's not just yeah. fixed. So what what would you pay for a camera <laughs> like this? Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Popeil. <laughs> well, I so, would expect something that has, that has that electromechanical stuff to be right. a lot more expensive. Because right. getting all those little servos and the smarts to know where to look is exactly. not trivial. I'm gonna say this is well, you know, well into the three figures. Well into uh, $100. Is, so the Wise Campaign is $30. What? It's the $30. Pan is $30? The pan is $30. Yeah, no, Nobody wow. can, can believe it. And you don't need a code for that. Uh, that is just, you come as you are, everybody gets this price. That's really uh, cheap. You'll have to pay for shipping too, but um, That yeah, is really cheap for really anything cheap. motorized. And it has all the things. I mean, it has two-way audio, it has huh. night vision, it has alerts, it will, it looks pretty good, which is important things, in the nice home. Looking. It's yeah. not some tacky, crummy looking thing. It actually looks nice and clean and kind of a squared cylinder. That's an amazing price that's, for any kind of a amazing. network camera yeah. that actually has the ability to pan and tilt, or to tilt and pan and look around like that. That's impressive. I didn't know about that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. We got a lot in smart home there. I hope those were some good ideas for you. I know a lot of this category is still new to a lot of people. We have a lot more coming, including TVs and streaming devices to connect to the dad or grad's existing TV. But first, let's go back in time again. Another retro dad ad for a little bit of fun. We'll be back right after this. You just can't bother real root beer lovers when they're loving their dads. You just can't bother real root beer lovers when they're loving their dads. Sneak into the kitchen for a snack without waking Daddy. Land on a noise, and you have to press Daddy's alarm clock. Will he wake up? Back to bed. That's great. Don't wake Dad. He hit the wild turkey hard last night. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, anyway, we're back with the live Dads and Grads gift show. That's a mouthful right there. It's Cooley with Lexi Savitas and the CNET cheapskate himself, Rick Broida, imported directly from Michigan. I think I stole a Chrysler tagline right there, so I'll have to pay the rights. Okay, so next up now, TVs and streaming devices. Let's talk about these. Uh, I'm a big Roku guy, as are a whole lot of people out there, as are the CNET editors generally. It tends to be our highest rated device. Uh, over time. Uh, the Roku Streaming Stick Plus is great because Roku is, at least at, at this point in history, they've remained pretty agnostic. They bring everybody into their platform. Their interface is outstanding. Now they're starting to become a little more of a channel aggregator and they may start to compete in a more uh, competitive way with Amazon and Apple and say, no, we do this and you don't. But they've tended to be wide open, which is what you want in a streaming device. You want everything to be available there. And uh, let's see, the price on that guy, then we just looked that one up. It was a, um, a $54.99 is the best price we see on our site right now off of, I think, a $70 MSRP. It's a good price. And if you want Roku technology, and believe me, you do, uh, consider getting it in a TV. This is a relatively new trend in the last two years, but it really heated up in the last year since CES in January. The TCL S305 is a Roku TV. So it's a nice flat panel TV of 32 to 49 inches, varying prices, of course, but it's got the Roku tech built in. There is nothing else to add to it. Now, you may not know TCL or Hisense, I believe is the other brand right now that's offering TVs with built-in Roku technology. It's super slick. It's fully integrated. There's no other thing to deal with. So if you're buying a TV, I would recommend looking at one of the manufacturers who make Roku TVs like TCL, or if you're giving a gift to someone who's got a great TV, Give them a Roku stick to, to go in there as well. And of course, the Amazon Fire TV Cube is new. This is, I don't think, even available for shipping until later this month. But this is the latest thing from Amazon that is going to combine the streaming of a Fire TV stick with uh, the smart home uh, integration technology and Alexa built in. So if you want to have streaming and smart home put into one place, 
which frankly are usually different constituencies. Here you get it blended together in a really smart way. Uh, I think that's a definite one to look at, but know that it's not ready until uh, later in June, depending when you're watching this particular show. The other thing I wanted to mention about the Roku as well is it's great for grads because if you're in a dorm room or a situation yeah. where you have a Wi-Fi network that you need to add another layer of authentication to, uh, like an, in, uh, an interface essentially like that, you can do that with the Roku sticks really easily. There's a special setup mode, mm -hmm. so you don't need to worry about being on a home Wi-Fi network where essentially all you need to do is enter the password. If you do need to make that second layer of authentication, it's point. actually really useful for grads there. Yeah, yeah, good point on that one. And uh, I'm just checking out. I'm checking on oh, June 21, by the way, is the date of ship, if I have it right, or order fulfillment for the Amazon TV Cube. I think we have some questions coming in on the Twitters. Yes, we have lots of different questions. Uh, first up, we have a smart power tool recommendation uh -huh. uh, for dads that love woodworking or a handyman. Uh -huh. Uh, what do, what yes, can you suggest? Indeed. I know this is an area of your incredible interest. It's a category here. that we don't necessarily have a lot of specific reviews on here, but I'm a big fan of uh, this thermal pocket camera. Now, normally thermal cameras are something you find in like, you know, war uh, war machinery and <laughs> aircraft and that kind of thing. This is a FLIR C2. It is a little tiny camera, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of the size of a small smartphone, and it's going to be, as you see, 449. I'm finding it in the mid to high 300s. If you shop discount on the street, what this is, it allows you to look at different things in the home and tell if there's hot or cold going on. It's a great way to find or trace certain pipes, if it's a cold or hot water pipe, or to see where you might have a leak or where you might have something going on with a broken part of an appliance. If you've got a dad or a grad who's really into fixing things around the house, I guarantee you they don't have this and they would like to have it. Now, it's not cheap, but it's a really cool, serious piece of gear. If you want something that's going to be a little uh, more inexpensive, I mean really inexpensive, but on the more uh, visual side as well, like that, look at any number of these, and there's a lot of them on Amazon in different places. This is a flexible camera at the end of a long conduit with a little tiny camera at the tip of it, and you hook it up to any smartphone. That's the key here, an Android phone, an Apple phone, what have you. You hook this up, you run a piece of free downloadable software, which is the viewer, and now you have this long snake cam that is live showing you what's at the other end of it, and 16 feet long, I mean, you can check out almost any pipe in there. You can do your own colonoscopy, too. <laughs> no, I didn't recommend that. No, don't tweet that. Um, and what is this thing, $20? I've got a couple of these. The image quality is okay. It's not fantastic, but it's super handy when you're trying to look under an engine for a lost part. This is a way to snake down there, down a wall to see if you're about to drill into something. This is, this is really cool and dirt cheap. A uh, nice compliment from Jamie. How, how long did it take you, Rick, to fly that drone, to learn how to fly it? Because you, you did a really good job, so it's a nice little compliment there. Not a question. Well, really, just how, it, long, how it. long it took you to fly that? Not long. It's pretty yeah? easy. <laughs> uh, excellent. Okay, and we have, what is the best point-and-shoot camera on a budget from Isaac? This is a tough one. So, yeah, because who the using hell point and shoots anymore? anymore? <laughs> who's using? Okay, no, here's, here's my recommendation. So if you're not wow. going to be using your phone, cool. I highly recommend that you pick up a, either a, an older model, really good, um, all-in-one point-and-shoot. Uh, it's kind of got more manual features, something like a Sony RX1. So there's a one-inch sensor. It's gone through a number of iterations. I think they're up to like version six now or something. So you should be able to find one of the earlier generations fairly cheaply. So this is great because you can just use it in automatic mode and just use it as a point-and-shoot if you want. Um, but if you do want to step up and get a little bit more flexible with your photography, it has the full manual controls. It's got video recording and so on. So it's going to be a really good image quality if you find an older generation. That's my advice. Don't go and buy like that cheap, you know, $40 Casio that you get at you know, your duty free or something. Don't get that. No. Get a good one, but an older generation. I totally agree because a few years ago they made really great pocket cameras. There's been less of an emphasis lately. Mm -hmm. So either an older model that's still made now or an older model that may not be made now and go find the thing on eBay. Okay, wow. Uh, still to come, we got a lot of great stuff coming up. My picks in the automotive category, both cars and accessories. It isn't strictly going to be top dollar stuff. And Lexi's going to have some wearable tech gifts coming up for us as well. And more deals from Rick around all these areas. But first, we salute all those fathers or father figures like Rocket in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Now repeat back what I just said. I am Groot. No! No, that's the button that will kill everyone. Try again. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. I'm good. No! Does anybody have any tape out there? I want to put some tape over the death button. Nobody has any tape. Not a single person has tape. You have an atomic bomb in your bag. If anybody's going to have tape, it's you. I have to do everything. You are wasting a lot of time. I'm good. 
That's a really bad sign. Okay, so a lot of things we're talking about here are dads and grads. We try to segment it for dad or grad. It's kind of a natural way to go here in our dads and grads gift guide show this year. But there are some that are totally universal, and wearables are one of them. Dads and grads and mom and siblings, everybody should have an appetite for knowing more about how they're doing, how they're thriving, how active they are. You've got some picks, Lexi. Absolutely. And on that note, the ones that I'm going to talk about are all good at that, but they're also just good as just regular smartwatches. If you just yeah. want to use something as something to get notifications or find out if you missed a message. Uh, all of these can do that. Uh, first up is obviously if you're in the Apple ecosystem, it's kind of awkward to hold it up when you're wearing it, but this is the Apple Watch Series 3 with cellular built in. Uh, obviously does all of the fitness tracking that you would expect. It has built in LTE and so you, if you want to be out and leave your phone behind, say for example when you go on a run, you can do that. You can uh, stream music on the go. You can also make calls. Uh, if you find yourself, say, you get to an end of a run like me and you're kind of too tired to run all the way back home maybe you could load up a an app and uh, get a car to take you home <laughs> the Uber right, off right, that thing. right yeah, yeah. It's so run. that's the sort of, that's the sort of thing that you can do with that watch os 5 which was just announced last week at wwdc as well is going to give a lot more of the fitness tracking features be able to track different types of uh, fitness workouts like yoga and so on uh, and it's also going to be able to automatically detect when you start a workout which sometimes uh, you know you really in the zone you're going for a great workout a great run and you go halfway through I forgot to start my watch mm. uh, and so it's gonna actually just be able to automatically track that and turn it on um, so that's great if you're looking for something outside of the Apple ecosystem that maybe you have an iPhone but you don't want an Apple watch or um, you have an Android phone of course um, something like the Fitbit Versa is, is a great pick there you're gonna be able to get a lot of the same sort of functionality in terms of workout tracking and so on the one thing is you don't get GPS in this guy so if you do want to actually go and track your runs and things like that you're gonna to have to take your phone with you otherwise it uses your stride length in order to determine kind of like your route and things like that to kind of give you an idea of how you're progressing but what I do love about the Versa is that it has this really cool coach feature so it's like workouts without needing to actually have another screen you can just go hey I'm gonna follow the workout and it's gonna guide you through step by step huh. do 10 star jumps do 15 push-ups things like that so it's a great tool to have on your wrist without needing to bring say your phone to the gym or wherever you're gonna be and I'm just do a quick that workout thing more than that JBL speaker Are you kidding me <laughs> yeah exactly don't you tell me what to do <laughs> and battery life this is the one to get if you want four days of battery life oh, that's great absolutely that is great Compared okay, to I the love battery watch. life I don't yeah. want it telling me yeah, <laughs> exactly um, but if you are someone who likes the more traditional watch face look so a circle rather than a yeah. square which I know a lot of people do then the Garmin Vivo Move HR is one to consider uh, it looks looks like a watch it has um, an LED panel so essentially it's going to give you notifications and but it just turns off and just looks like a regular analog watch which is really good if you just want to kind of be a little bit more incognito um, you get this traditional features like heart rate obviously that HR and then it gives you that hint sleep tracking step count works on Android and iOS it's water resistant to up to 50 meters uh, and it gives you notifications too so if you do want to use it as a smartwatch it's got everything you need right there in one unit. So that's another option if you want to be a bit more platform agnostic too. Yes, wow, some good choices there. And uh, this is an area that, as you mentioned, we're seeing a lot of cannibalization, or you could call it merging, of the fitness role mm -hmm. and the uh, communications and yeah. notification role. A lot of it's coming together in one place. So increasingly people are thinking watch when they think fitness, but there are still a number of great fitness bands out there as well. Rick, what do you got for deals? Yeah, so uh, I had to stop myself from laughing when you said it has a four-day battery <laughs> because I'm going to say ha to your four-day battery. I want to talk about the AmazeFit BIP. And this comes uh, from a Chinese company called Xiaomi. I hope I'm saying that yeah, right. Xiaomi. And the Amazfit BIP is amazing because it packs, it, it looks a lot like uh, an Apple Watch, as you can see. And it um, has a lot of the same features, but it's also kind of got some pebble features as well. So it has GPS, it has a heart rate monitor, uh, it has fitness features, of course it does notifications, all that good stuff. It has an always on color screen. Uh, it's really, and actually, uh, let's let's be honest, it doesn't look quite that bright. Uh, I'll take the little <laughs> sticker off, but um, <laughs> it's really it's really a stylish little watch. Kind of looks like like my yeah, Apple Watch. Side side very close, a little yeah. thinner, a little lighter. Very similar. But, Real close, like uh, yeah. watch yeah. the lawyers on. 
on this place. <laughs> but would you like to take a stab at what the battery life is, is on this guy? Well, I'm blown away by four days, so I'm okay. happy from there on up. Yeah, so the battery is actually good for up to 30 days. 30 on days. On a charge. Wow. Okay, yeah. and now real world use, I've used it myself more like 20 to 25, mm -hmm. depending on the features you use. If you use the GPS, if you get a lot of notifications, yeah. it's going to be a little lower. But if you can get three weeks out of your watch, yeah. no, you can get two weeks. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 yeah, so that is pretty good. And that's actually one of my favorite products of this year because yeah. uh, it's such an amazing deal at $100. But you don't have to pay $100, no sir. Uh, with, <laughs> if you go to the Amazfit website and use uh, promo code CHEAPSKATE, this baby is 70 bucks. That's amazing. That's it a great, really that's is. a great deal. Yeah, for it's one of my favorites. Uh, light, such a great too. gift Real item. Light. Now, if that's too much, okay, you're looking for a gift for dad, for your grad, and you just can't quite swing the the, um, the 70 bucks. Uh, let's talk about the Jarv uh, RunFit Pro, which is obviously uh, styled a little bit more like a traditional fitness tracker. Mm -hmm. This guy does heart rate monitoring and even blood pressure, if you can believe that. Plus, it'll do notifications and all the other fitnessy kind of things as well. Um, and I don't quite recall what the battery life is on this guy, but I can tell you it's 40 to 40 bucks, which is already a killer deal. Uh, but as part of our show, if you put in the code uh, that you can see on your screen and find on the website, uh, it's only 30 bucks. So for a full-blown fitness tracker with heart rate and all of it uh, for 30 bucks. Come on. And that's good because you can't lose at that price. And this is a good proviso. If you're going to give one of these, know that the abandonment rate on fitness bands can be rather high. People either love them or they don't, and they don't know until they try them. So this is a really great place to use Rick's deal to get one. That's a nice-looking product. They'll never know you paid 30 bucks for it. Believe it, I'm looking at it right now. And yet, if they don't use it forever and put it in the desk drawer after a few months, you're not going to feel like, wow, I wasted so much money. Thank you, Rick. Great, great picks there. Now, we've got one last category coming up, and it's a big one, literally and financially. Cars and car accessories. Don't get apoplectic yet. I've got a lot to say about some car picks, and Rick's got some great new deals as well, plus the coupon code for the Star Wars drones. But first, here's a clip from NYU's recent commencement. We can see it all around us. There's a peculiar fascination with dystopia. In our culture today, you see it everywhere on film and TV. But the truth is that on balance, we have the good fortune to live in a time of tremendous possibility and potential, a time when it is within our grasp to eliminate extreme poverty, to end terrible diseases like malaria and TB, and to offer a real chance at an education to everyone on this planet. Okay, folks, time to hyperventilate as we talk about our dads and grads gift guide show. Brian Cooley, Lexi Savitas, and Rick Broyd of the CNET Cheapskate. Hyperventilate, because here where we actually say with a straight face, consider giving a car. And people go, okay, yeah, okay, money boy, we're going to give people a car here. Not going to give dad a car or grad a car. Well, now think this through, because the way you can do financing and leasing today, especially if you're looking at a grad who you want to have a safe car with the latest safety and driver assist technologies, and then maybe you sell her to get away from the lease after the their period away at school, it might not be as luxe as it sounds. So here are two picks out of many. It's very hard to tell you what kind of car you want to get somebody, but two that are sort of odds-on go-tos include the Mazda MX-5, known as the Miata. Uh, the current version is just a home run. We absolutely love this guy in either soft top form or it's also got the RF model, which has a hard top. But this is such a sweetie. You ought to check out our video on this. We have so much fun whenever a Miata comes in. You can get into these for as little as $27,000, which is, again, a lot of money. I get it. But if you do want to nose around this idea, you will get a grin from ear to ear on that grad's face. And it won't go away immediately. It's going to last for years because this car is fun every day you drive it. The other total home run I want to mention here would be a Jeep, the Jeep Wrangler. This is the other sort of hottest car in the world right now under $50,000. It's just a total cultural phenomenon. A Jeep Wrangler you can get into for the for the mid-20s. And here you're looking at a vehicle that of course has incredible off-road ability, but it's also got this great social status and style trend. This is just one of those things that's almost like part of the social zeitgeist right now. Uh, again, both these cars in the, uh, in the high 20s base uh, and modern vehicles with great technology, great safety systems in them, and of course, dead reliable, which you're not always going to get, even with the most well-researched $5,000 
well-preserved beater yeah. on Craigslist. You just got to be wary of those. I'll take a Miata. You know, I'm, I actually am your oh. one-law son, and I just graduated. <laughs> so set me up. All right, learning a lot here live on the show. Some I didn't want to happen in public, but it's good to know. All right, let's talk about some accessories. Yeah, so you talked about safety, and I think yeah. uh, you know one of the hot categories right now is dash cams, uh, which is actually a, a great uh, safety feature, so you can uh, keep tabs on what's happening in front of you, uh, and in some cases behind you. So the model I have here is the uh, Vantrue N2 Pro, and as you can see, it's not only a front-facing uh, dash cam, but also a rear-facing one, so it has yeah. two cameras. Uh, you get to record everything that's going on in front, and then, of course, your carpool karaoke sessions, uh, you can record those as well. <laughs> it's got all the bells and whistles. It'll do everything that a dash cam can do, and then some, and it's very compact, and it just mounts up on your dash very nicely. Yeah. Normally, this guy is 200 bucks, uh, which is what you pay for a high-end dash cam. As part of our show today, with promo code CNET Show, you can get this for 140. So that's a really, uh, good really price. nice deal. Oh uh, yeah, we just did a video on dash cams, and that was one of our favorites because it has that really high res going in both directions at once. It'll do 1080p both ways at once in the car and looking forward. And this is just a really nicely designed one. And if that's a little too rich for your blood, uh, there are lower end, uh, less expensive dash cams like this one from Aki. Uh, this is the DR01. And uh, as you can see, it's very small. Uh, it's uh, very uh, simple to use. You just mount it up on your dash and it'll automatically start recording. And it uh, just gives you the basic features that you want from a dash cam, but its starting price is 58 bucks, and you can get it for $47 with code CNET4DAD, and that's the number four. Uh, so you have a lot of options when it comes to dash cams, and uh, this is a particularly great deal on one. And it doesn't even weigh anything, does it? I mean, it's oh, just, it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. Uh, so what we're looking at here, remember, just in case you're not clear on the dash cam idea, this is a camera that looks outside your windshield and records all the time. It's just that simple. So whatever happens, you don't have to say, "Gee, I wish I was recording." It was recording, and the uh, number of uh, hours or days it can record is based on how big a card you put inside of it. So always, if you gift one of these, make sure it has a card, and if not, buy in a card to go with it. Make that the whole kit, so your recipient can use it. It right away and get a big card they're so cheap these days that way they can get a number of days before it starts to rewrite video yeah great points uh, so next I uh, want to talk about a safety item that really every driver should this. have yeah so this is from Gulu and this is a uh, this is a portable jump starter so if you <laughs> if people like, don't believe it when they see it that that can start a car oh absolutely so if you're like me you live in Michigan someplace where the winters are bad you don't want to wake up to a strand you know be stranded somewhere uh, with a dead battery so keep this guy in the car it comes in a nice little zippered case and uh, it will jump start uh, your engine for you. Uh, it even has a uh, USB port so that you can jump start your dead phone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all there. It's all there. Whatever matters to you more in life, uh, getting home yeah. or well, getting a charge, it's all there. <laughs> so if you have to call a tow truck, at least you can. So uh, normally this guy uh, is 70 bucks, uh, but we have a promo code that will get it for you for 45, 49. So again, it's just it's a great that is gift item so smart. for a dad, a grad, a mom, a dropout, anybody. Uh, definitely recommend every driver have one of these. And if you've got a dad who drives a Porsche, let me tell you, this is a particularly good uh, gift because a lot of Porsches have the battery in the front and they also have a power trunk release so when the battery dies and you go to get to the battery to charge it you can't because electricity is not there to open the trunk to get to the battery and it's this crazy catch-22 have one having one of these somewhere other than the front trunk where the battery is allows you to then jump start the hood to then jump start the car this is a Porsche thing and believe me Porsche owners <laughs> could really appreciate that so if you got a well-heeled dad on your list you just talked me out of buying a Porsche I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird little Achilles here and you got one more that I really love here uh, uh, yeah, so uh, for the tinkerer, uh, the guy who likes to get under the hood, or the or the gal, or anybody who likes to get under the hood, uh, we have this uh, Foxwell uh, o ODB. Am I going to get it right? OBD, OBD. Doo -doo <laughs> scanner, which plugs into that mysterious port uh, underneath yes. your dashboard, and uh, it has a, a color screen, and it will basically give you all kinds of diagnostics about your car. So if there's a check engine light, you want to know what's going on, or you want to get that light turned off, this is how you can do that. And uh, this one, again, is made by Foxwell. It is normally $44, which is actually already kind of a great really deal. Really good to start. With our code, it's going to be 31 bucks. So a great gift item at that price for anybody who likes to tinker. Yeah, whoever it may be in the family. And those are neat because you can also tell what's going on with your car in more detail before you take it in to get it fixed, uh, as well as clearing codes to make sure the code really does come back. Sometimes clearing a code may be all you need to do. It, it happens. It's been known to happen. Uh, and we have a lot of videos that, uh, that I have done on how to use OBD2 readers, at least a couple of them out there. So you can find those if you just go on CNET, search OBD2. They'll pop right up, and you can get some tips on how to get the most out of these. The last one is the one that everybody 
can use. Yeah, so I'm, I'm on a crusade here. I want every <laughs> car owner and phone owner to have some kind of a car mount for their phone because when your phone is down by your in your lap or in the cup holder or whatever you're taking your eyes off the road even if it's just for a second and that's no good yeah. your car needs to be up uh, your phone needs to be up near uh, eye level so you can just glance right. at it if a notification mm -hmm. comes in you're changing your music or whatever so there are many different kinds of mounts available but one I have uh, to share with you today as far as a deal goes uh, is the Jarve uh, premium universal flexible air vent mount and it goes inside your air vents, and then it gives you a universal cradle that works with just about any phone. Okay. Uh, it's normally 12 bucks. I think we have it for 777 with the, the code. Shipping is more. Yeah, right? it's it's <laughs> crazy cheap. Um, and if it's not this mount, then another something yeah. to get your phone up at eye level. Please, please, please be safe. And the key thing about these uh, vent mounts that are becoming very popular of late, and some of them are magnetic, some are friction, like there's a lot of ways to do it. Is when you're on the vent, you're especially safe because the vents tend to be high, but not up on the windshield with a suction mount, which in many states, a lot of folks don't remember, is illegal. And you're also kind of going against the grain here because you're blocking some of your view with the device that's supposed to make driving safer. So getting away from the windshield suction mount is kind of a good idea, but keeping it high with a vent mount. Like Rick says, it's a great way to split the difference and do everything right and not take any sort of steps backward. Okay, Rick, it's time for the uh, big reveal on the Star Wars drone deal. We love seeing you fly this thing with exceptional skill. Uh, yeah, I really show. just want to keep flying it. I, I don't even want to talk about the deal. I just, let me just have my fun with this thing. So yeah, the Propel Star Wars Battle Quads, yeah. um, you know, they debuted last year. They were 180 bucks a piece. There's three different models. There's the TIE Fighter, uh, which I, this is Darth Vader's uh, yeah. TIE Fighter. And there's an X-Wing, and then there's the speeder bike uh, from Return of the Jedi, of course. And these are just great, fun drones. But like I said, they were 180 bucks a piece. It's like only the most affluent Star, yeah, Star so Wars fan. You need to open the box. Yeah, let's let's do this because so much fun. it's not. Look at this box. Yeah, and so like, this is already imposing enough. But what, watch what happens. Ah, come on! Like, come on! How awesome That's is that? Amazing. Listen to the soundtrack. It's right there. Yeah. So you, I mean, it's just opening the that box is, is fun. That is great. So anyway, these were 180 bucks a piece, <laughs> barely a year ago. The deal we have right now with B&H Photo is you can get any one of the models for just sixty dollars, uh, and the code for that is going to be CNSW2018. But wait, there's more. Uh, if you want to get two, and you do, uh, they're 99 bucks. If you want to get three, it's 140. And what's the advantage of getting uh, more than one is that you can have aerial dogfights with these oh, things come on. and yes. have all the pew, pew, pew fun <laughs> that you wanted to have as a kid. Now you can have as a dad or a grad. These are some of my favorite drones ever, and at this price, a steal. Come on, folks, you know what to do. Get all three for yeah. crying out loud. Oh, come on. Even if you got to resell two of them on eBay, it's like an Amazon Prime account. You know, you sell it off to make it free to yourself. Whatever you got to do, that is such a cool drone. If you missed Rick flying it earlier, maybe you'll take it for a flight as we close <laughs> I'll be the show. It again. I'm just going off the script here. Okay, thanks, everybody. Uh, we're going to wrap it up now. We got through a lot of products, a lot of codes on the screen. And uh, thank you to the Twitter people. Yes, thank you very much to everyone who tweeted on CNET Live, the hashtag on Twitter. Remember that three of you will possibly get a surprise. So stay tuned <laughs> to your Twitter accounts and make sure to answer a tweet from CNET if it comes through. Fingers and honestly, crossed. we don't know what the surprise is. It's a surprise. It's, <laughs> it's, I think it might be drawn from this. It's here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere yeah. here okay. in this room. Somewhere in this room. And it's not it's not me, so you're off to a good start. <laughs> and don't forget to enter to win that iPhone 8 Red at CNET.com slash giveaway. The uh, screen looks like that. When you know, you'll know when you get there. Uh, that's an iPhone 8 Red, and that's a great little giveaway you can register for there. I mean, who wouldn't want the 8, frankly? That's really the hot iPhone you should be looking at. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and thanks to our sponsor, DailySteals.com. Congratulations to all those grads out there. Happy Father's Day to all the pops. We will do it again next year. Thanks, everybody. CNET's Best Gifts for Dads and Grads is sponsored by Daily Steals, where the daily deals are so hot, they're practically steals. <laughs>